to you on the other side of the screen hello shine here welcome to my channel if it's your first time and welcome back if you've watched my previous videos today is hearts day so i just want to greet all of you happy hearts day my last video was for the singles now we're moving on to the dating couples just a disclaimer though, the things I'm about to share are lessons I've learned from couples I know, also in TV shows I've watched, because I am still part of the group from my first video. The first one is supporting one another. One of the best qualities I see in a great couple is when they support and encourage each other to be the best version of themselves. I remember watching this web drama and it had a love triangle. There were two guys who liked the same girl, who both wanted to support her to the best of their abilities, which they both did actually, but each did it very differently from the other. One did everything for the girl, while the other supported her in doing those things, and helped her be stronger and independent. Although both are nice, I prefer the latter. The latter encouraged growth in the girl. She accomplished things she thought she couldn't with the help and support of that guy. In the process of helping her be stronger, the guy was also encouraged and grew more as a person as well. That being the case, the presence of each other in their lives helped both of them grow and become the best version of themselves. It's not just one encouraging and supporting the other, but it goes both ways. The best kind of relationship is when both of you encourage each other to be better, to be the best version of yourselves. Second, communication. Like what I explained in my video, 18 Lessons from 18 Again, communication is vital for couples. If you haven't watched those videos yet, I recommend you do. Anyway, without communication, it's really easy for misunderstandings to happen. And we all know what happens when there are misunderstandings. I know that action speaks louder than words. But honestly, both are needed. It can't be just words and it can't be just actions because they go hand in hand. Imagine this scenario. Let's go back to when you weren't dating yet. Your actions show that you like each other, but neither of you have yet to confess about your feelings. So both of you were like walking on thin ice because nothing is official yet. Technically, there's no label yet. That's why there may be confusions. Neither of you wanted to be assuming, so with all the actions indicating that you were into each other, you still brushed them off. Until the time one of you actually stepped up and confessed, and then courted the other that you were finally able to start dating. That just shows how important words are, or communication in general, or at least the tip of the iceberg. I shared more about this in my previous videos, 18 Lessons from 18 Again, Parts 1 and 2. That's why I hope you watch those videos if you haven't yet. Moving on, the third one is respect. Now this is such a broad topic, but simple examples would be respect of your partner's privacy. Your partner may give you the passcode to his or her phone, but it'd be great if you don't go on opening their messaging apps and going through it. Respecting their decisions. What you want to do shouldn't be the only one that's always being followed. You need to listen to what your partner wants to. Alone times and time with their friends should be put into consideration as well. You gotta understand that their world does not only revolve around you. Respect others if you want to be respected, for respect is earned. As always, thank you so much for watching. A short review. The first tip was support one another. The second one is to communicate. And the third one is respect your partner. And don't forget to watch my previous videos if you haven't yet, while you wait for the new one next week. Take care always and God bless. Bye!